This is a video from the Technology Training Team, a department of the Prince George's County Public Schools IT Division. Today we're going to show you how to set up the iPad that has been issued to you by PGCPS. When you receive your iPad, you should have the following. An iPad, a USB adapter cable, and a charging adapter. In order to set up your iPad, you will also need access to a wireless network. If you do not have Wi-Fi at home, PGCPS offers many drive-up Wi-Fi locations for students. Please contact your school to find out what location is closest to you. You will also need the student username and password to utilize the drive-up Wi-Fi service. If you do not know your student's login information or you have forgotten it, please see the separate video on student passwords. The first thing you want to do is start charging the iPad. Connect the USB adapter cable to the charging adapter. Then connect the charging adapter to a wall outlet. And finally, connect the other end of the cable to the iPad. If this iPad screen is still dark after you plug it into the wall, let it charge until you see the Hello screen. While you should leave it plugged in until it reaches 100%, you can now continue with the setup while you wait for it to completely charge. Press the Home button to begin setup. Select the language. On the Select Your Country or Region screen, select United States. On the Quick Start screen, select Set Up Manually. On the Choose a Wi-Fi Network screen, select your home wireless network and enter the password. If you are using Drive Up Wi-Fi, select Private. You will be prompted to enter your student's username and password. Once your iPad has connected to the internet through the wireless network, you see the remote management screen. This means that PGCPS is ready to configure the iPad and install the apps necessary for the student to begin the school year. This step is required for all PGCPS issued iPads. Touch Next. The initial configuration may take several moments. Once it is complete, you see the Location Services screen. Touch Enable Location Services. This allows the iPad to be located should it be lost or stolen. Touch Get Started on the Welcome screen. On the Home screen, you may begin to see some of the apps required by PGCPS begin to be installed. Installing the full list of apps could take some time you may leave it to finish installing and charging. Once all the apps have been installed, the initial setup is complete. Depending on the student's class requirements, additional setup may be required for individual apps such as Google Classroom or Google Meet, which will be covered in a separate video. But for now, that's it. The iPad is ready to use. This has been another production from the Technology Training Team. Thanks for watching.